This is the story of two sisters named Kitty and Mimi and how they learned about love. Mr. and Mrs. Scott's little girl. They needed some help for a while, so they asked if I'd babysit. Her name is Juliana, and she's going to be staying with us for a few days, okay? Oh, yippee! It'll be fun! Peekaboo, I see you! Do you see me, baby? And me? <gasps> oh, she sure has a lot of energy for being so little. Were we this small? I suppose everybody is this small when they're little. We just don't remember. She's demanding, too. She probably wants to get out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh. Oh. Are you okay? Are you girls being extra careful out there with little Juliana? Yes, Mom. We're just letting her out for a little while. She won it down. All right, but just remember she's a sweet, tiny, helpless baby. You two can be a bit rough when you play sometimes. We'll be nice. Oh, yes. Isn't that nice? A warm bath for you. She's mm. washing Juliana. We always take our baths at this time, Mimi. We, we have to make room for her, though. Having a baby around sure made things different. Let's take another good spoonful now. Hmm. You are such a good baby, Julianne. Oh, yes, you are. Do you want a little bit more, sweetie? I'll have a little more salad, please. Kitty, you're old enough to serve yourself, you know. Can't you see I'm busy now? Yes. She didn't even come up to read us a good night story. She must be really tired. Because she spent all day taking care of the little baby. Oh. There you go, Juliana. <laughs> You're all set and ready for a brand new day to laugh and play. Mom, we're going. Fine, don't forget to take your lunch boxes with you. Uh huh? I remembered you had a field trip today. Bye, Mom. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, girls. Be sure to close the door, okay? That day, the girls and their class had drawing lessons in the fields near school. It was a beautiful morning, and time went by very quickly. Time to eat now, everybody. Let's take a break and have lunch. Okay. okay. Did everybody remember to bring their lunch boxes today? Yes. yes. I'm looking forward to seeing Me all too, our I'm goodies. Hungry. Hey, huh? what did your mom put in your lunch box today? I don't know yet. If your mom's cookies are in there, you better save some for us. Hers are the greatest. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you guys. I wanted to see if you want to eat together. I have my favorites. We could probably trade some stuff if you guys want. I know your mom always packs you a really fancy lunch whenever we have field trips. What did she make you? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'll bet it's beautiful and yummy. With a big sandwich and a nice dessert. <laughs> yeah, a triple decker. Come on, let's take a look already. Okay, get ready to have a feast, everyone. Huh? Oh! This can't be... This just can't be... What's in your box? I have the exact same thing! You've got some bread? And a chunk of cheese? And a bottle of soda pop? What kind of lunch is that? You don't mind if I find someone else to trade with, right? I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, cheese isn't ready for me. Sorry, but I want some cookies. She's 
We've never packed a lunch like this. Not before baby Juliana came along, at least. It's almost like she was too busy with her to care about us. <laughs> oh, well. Oh dear, babies just smell so good. <laughs> Mommy? Hello, kitty. Why aren't you in bed yet, dear? I couldn't fall asleep. Will you read to me? Not tonight, I'm afraid. The baby needs to go to bed now, too. You can read to yourself. Yes, but that's not the same thing at all. Kitty, babies need a lot of attention, even more than you. Go to sleep. I'll try to read you one tomorrow. Now we're going to get you ready for bed, Juliana. Mm. Huh? Ever since the baby came, everything is different. Mom doesn't have time for us at all anymore. Maybe she doesn't love me anymore. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Oh. Hello. Good morning, Juliana. <gasps> oh, don't cry now, Juliana. Cheer up. You. Yes. I thought she was awake already. Babies have to get lots of sleep, Kitty. You know better than that. Otherwise, they're cranky. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. She'll go back to sleep right away. But you should go and get ready for school so you don't disturb her again, Kitty. Sorry about the rude awakening, sweetie pie. She must not be completely awake yet. <clears throat> you better hurry up and get ready. It's time for school. I know. You're coming to school today, aren't you? I guess so. Is something wrong? Mom won't pay any attention to us like she doesn't want us around. Well, I have to go. I'm sure things will calm down soon when the Scots come back, but she did get our umbrellas for us in case it rains. Don't forget yours. Kitty made it to school on time, but she might as well have stayed at home. Let's multiply 33 times 2 now, okay? Who knows this one? Kitty, how about you? <clears throat> Earth to Kitty? I didn't mean to. I thought she was awake. Hmm. Are you ready? It's my turn to help clean up the class, remember? All right. I'll see you at home then. Okay, bye. <clears throat> We're all finished. Now we can go outside and play for a little bit. I don't think so. It's pouring rain. Oh, and my umbrella is hanging in the closet at home. Mine too. Mine three. Mimi sure was glad to have her umbrella. Everyone else was just glad to be indoors with this weather. Hi, Mom. I'm back. Hi, Mimi. Where's your sister? She didn't come home with you? No, she's cleaning the class today. Is she sleeping? Yes, the rain made her fall asleep. Good thing I had my umbrella. I would have been soaked. Kitty remembered to take her umbrella, too, didn't she? I think she did. I reminded her this morning. Hmm. Good. I won't worry, then. See you tomorrow! Bye, Bye Thomas. Thomas! It's raining hard. <gasps> Someone's coming! Oh, that's my mom! Hooray! Hi, Mom! Hi, Tracy. I think this rain is going to last for quite a while. Bye, guys. See you Bye, tomorrow. Bye, Tracy. I hope my mom comes soon. 
Oh, me too, but I'm not sure she will. She's really busy these days. She might have forgotten oh. about me. Not on purpose, but she doesn't pay as much attention to me as she used to. <gasps> My little brother just turned two, and he's walking and getting into everything. We have a little baby at our house, too. My mom is babysitting her for the Scott family. That must be neat. Huh? Yoo-hoo! Hi, Fifi. Sorry I'm so late. Hi, Mom! Here. Hello, Kitty. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine, thank you. <laughs> Your mom must be very busy these days. I haven't seen her. Real busy. They have a little baby staying over at their house right now, Mom. Kitty's mom is babysitting for the Scots. That's a lot of work. It is? Oh, yes, babies need a lot of attention. Kitty's mom might not be able to come if there's no one to watch the baby. I never thought about that. Oh, Kitty, you want to come with us? No, thanks. My mom should be coming soon. I'll just wait right here. All right. See you tomorrow, then. Okay, bye. Kitty waited and waited at school all alone. And pretty soon she realized her mom wasn't going to show up after all. She didn't come. She didn't come. She just left me here with all this rain. She doesn't love me. <laughs> It's four o'clock already. Kitty should definitely have been home now. You're sure she didn't forget her umbrella? Well, I'll go see. She did forget it! people they get to go away that gives me a great idea where to go I'm going to take the train to grandma's house I should have enough money with me there's a train leaving right away too I like taking this big train mommy that's good it's not too fast for you no I like it as oh. I took the train. Mom, Dad, someone's out there in the fields. He's funny looking. Oh, whoops, it's a scarecrow. You'll be seeing lots of those out here. Yes, you're gonna love being in the countryside. Here, I brought some snacks. Wow, my <laughs> favorite! <laughs> Yum, thank you, Mommy. <laughs> He's so lucky. It was still raining when Kitty got to the train station, so she ran all the way to her grandparents' house in the village. She felt a little nervous about showing up out of the blue. Kitty, what are you doing here? What a nice surprise! Now come in and get out of this rain. You're soaked. You stay here by the fire and warm up. You'll feel better. Okay. Are you okay? Yes. Oh, my oh. poor kitty. You're still shivering. Tell me what happened to make you come out here by yourself. Mommy doesn't love me anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Let's make a phone call. Yes? Yes, she just got there? You're sure she's okay? Thanks for calling right away. Hmm. Was that Grandma? Yes, Kitty took the train and showed up at Grandma and Grandpa's house. <gasps> at least now we know she's all right. Wow, she's brave. Back at her grandparents' house, Kitty was all warmed up. Now, why don't you tell me what's wrong? All of Mum's time goes to the baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mean the one she's taking care of? <laughs> you know, babies are a very big responsibility. And your mom hasn't been around one in a while. So? <clears throat> so she probably got in a little bit over her head this time. Three children in the house are a lot of work and time. I could hardly keep myself organized, and I just had your mother to worry about. It's my fault. No, dear. We didn't know Kitty was feeling like this before. But still... I could have paid hmm. more attention, too. I guess we just became so involved with Juliana, we ignored them. The girls still need to get attention and affection from us. Yes. My mother told me Kitty thinks that I really don't love her anymore. That's the most heart-wrenching thing I have ever heard. Don't fret. She'll realize there's no way we'll stop loving our kids. And your folks will talk to her. Who's this cute baby? That's you, Kitty. Really? I was tiny. You both were so tiny, but you were the cutest babies in the whole place. At least I think so. Thanks, Grandma. It's funny, but your parents were able to tell you apart right away, and they were so pleased. <sighs> That's you and your sister. Do you know which one is you? No, even I can't tell us apart. The one on the right is your sister, and you're the one on the left. Neat! And your mom has always told me that of all the great things she's done, having you tops them all. I put that album away in here somewhere. What's that? <laughs> this album is full of pictures of your mom and dad's younger days. Huh? How funny. They look like they're so young. Actually, this isn't all that old. It's just before they were married. Huh? Your father was so shy for the longest time. It's a miracle that he ever found the courage to ask her for a date. A date? They dated? Sure. Actually, your mom was one of the most sought-after young ladies in the village back in those times, Kitty. She was a concert pianist, and she gave performances at the Art Center. She's very gifted, and she's so beautiful, too. People always noticed her. Your father told us after he knew us better that he went to see her play several times, but he could never bring himself to even go speak to her at all. How did they ever meet, then? Ah, that's one of those beautiful love stories that has a happy ever after. Fate smiled upon those two. That's right. Those two are a perfect match. But if it weren't for a little bit of luck and foul weather, it would never have happened. They would be strangers. Strangers? Then that means Mimi and I wouldn't have been born. Mm-hmm. That's right, dear. Oh. You know, Dad says you were hard on him at the beginning. Well, you could say that, but I had to test him. His character. Let me tell you how they met. One day, your father went to hear your mother play. Oh, it's pouring rain. Why didn't I think to bring my umbrella along? And it doesn't look as if it's going to let up. I'll just wait for it to stop and think of that wonderful music. Huh? It's raining. <gasps> oh. I'm not sure if I'll still be able to catch a cab home. 
It's her. I don't believe it. Taxi! This might be tougher than I thought. Taxi! Daddy, do something! She'll take a cab and then she'll be gone! <gasps> I know! Someone needs to give them an umbrella! <gasps> Why does this always happen when I'm wearing a new dress? Every time. Taxi, stop! Oh, I'm going to be late, too. <gasps> oh, she just hates to be late. Do something! He can't think of a way to go talk to Mommy. But if he had an umbrella, he could offer it to her. Huh? Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh. What could I possibly talk to her about? Then you can walk home. But won't you be needing it? Oh, no. I have plenty of other good umbrellas just sitting at home. That's not it, Dad. You're supposed to ask her if she would like to share your umbrella with you. You can keep it if you like it. Thank you. It's oh. my pleasure. You're very kind. Thank you. It's very gentlemanly. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, no! But it really wouldn't be right to accept it. Oh, because your boyfriend might be jealous? No, I don't have one. I meant because you would have oh. to walk <gasps> in the rain. Oh, well, I wouldn't mind. It's only a little water. Thank you. I won't keep it, though. If you come to the concert next Saturday, we can meet again, and I'll return it. Deal? Deal! I'll be looking forward to it. Oh, uh, me too, me too. I think you play the most wonderful music. From then on, it was pure magic. So I'll see you next Saturday, then. Yes, Saturday. Thank you for everything, Grandma and Grandpa. It was good to see you. Next time, you should bring the rest of the family. I will. Promise. Bye. She's sweet. She gets that from me, I'm sure. <laughs> What's the little water? We missed you. Oh. <laughs> I missed you too. Me too. I am really sorry that I worried you so much. We're just glad that you're all right. Juliana's parents came and picked her up, but they said we could visit her. Really? That's neat. <laughs> Were her parents happy to see her? What do you think, Kitty? I'll bet they were super happy, like me! It's good to know you're feeling better now, Kitty. Yes, much better. And Grandpa told me lots of things. Stories about you? Huh? huh? You'll be soaking wet now. Oh, what's a little water, right, Daddy? After all, if it weren't for rain, I wouldn't be here. I love the rain, rain loves me. I love the rain <gasps> and what the rain What song is that, dear? Me. It's the song I made up, the, the same day that I talked to you for the first time. <laughs> and mommy loves me. 